Hey everybody, thanks again for watching. Paul Dietz here, CVC Horsemanship. Uh, just wanted to show you, this is an old Honda from Bill Dorrance. And I had a few, but my dad's dog years ago chewed a bunch of them up. So I haven't cracked this rope out for a while. I kind of save it for really precious days. But there's a fella that talked about having too big a loop and not wanting a big loop there. Well, the reason for the big loop and the long stretch is when you're roping outside, a lot of times you don't want to get close. I'm even feeding rope there. And I want to rope that cow over the hip. That way when it goes over their hip, it helps that loop to stand up. Maybe they have to move around a little bit in some grass and I'm not getting up on them where I'm chasing them. This is a pretty soft rope. It's a poly rope. And with this heavier Honda, a lot of times it would just want to close up anyway. So for the fancier shots and for roping outside, I need to get my arm back because it's really hard. Never thrown this, but it's really hard if I have, this isn't a real small loop, but if I'm up here, like I would be for a team roping, it's really hard to get that power as I get further out. You can get it, obviously, from that distance. But as I get further and further back, I need that power for the pull. And that's what gives me that power. And then two, with the bigger arm movement, I have more surface area. So I don't have to swing that rope quite as fast to get the power. I have a longer lever, if you will, in physics. So a lot of times, again, I'm coming back from some shoulder surgery, but we might even drop a couple coils and throw that. And then again, that way I can get that distance. And if it's stuff out there, I'm not, if it's something sick that I'm trying to doctor, I don't have to run it around a bunch. Again, with the ranch open shots, there's shots, heel shots and head shots from every angle around that animal. And that's one of the benefits because sometimes they're up against other cattle or other things. And we haven't talked about it much because that was just, that one loop was just for a couple people that were watching and asking some questions, but I may want to throw a backhand in there and have that catch. But there's a lot of different shots. That was just one shot we were talking about getting that power to get that arm back there on that long sweep. That also gives me some rest on my downstroke as I'm roping. Just like my friend Bill used to say, roping doesn't make you tired, missing makes you tired. But if I'm gonna be all day roping, Brandon, I wanna be able to save my arm a little bit so that it's not always up here. Again, I've had shoulder surgery, still coming back. It's getting better, I'm pretty happy to be able to take a few shots. And for those of you, again, I hope this helps you. I hope you watch, and if you watch this far and you're interested, maybe click like and subscribe. We appreciate it. Happy trails, enjoy the journey.